Hey everyone, so really quick, I wanted to do this quick video on why rich pins are important for bloggers. So I know um, some of you have seen my posts about, you know, have you validated your website and, and enabled rich pins, and many of you have not. And so I just kind of want to show you why it's important to do that for the um, efficiency, effectiveness of your blog if you're using Pinterest, and you should be using Pinterest. Okay, so really quick. I want to show you um, if you do any sort of share threads for Pinterest where you go in like we do with our blog post to get traffic to it but if you go in and share a Pinterest pin on these threads and that's where other people will uh, repin your pins you know that you've left on here I just want to kind of show you a few things and then I'll explain what the difference is so as you're going through here, most of these share threads will say you have to repin six or you will have to repin ten. This particular one with Bloggers United on Pinterest, if you drop a link, you have to repin ten others. So obviously you want to pin or repin ones that fall within what you normally have on your Pinterest account. You know, if you um, are all about business and then you suddenly pin something about breastfeeding that would be kind of random to show up in your feed unless you have a board for breastfeeding of course but so let me show you what the difference between someone with rich pins and someone without so as we're scrolling through here most of these um, 10 chores for toddlers most of them sound like a title of a blog post and that's actually what you want it to do is reflect what the pin is about now this does not work for affiliate pins so if you create a pin that links to say your site ground affiliate link or if you're using shop style collective or something like that if it's going directly to your affiliate this will not apply this is specifically for pins leading to your blog post so let's go down here. There's one in particular that I want to show you. Let me see if I can find it here. I am going to words of a butterfly. All right. So I saw what the graphic was here, the image, and it made me think it was about blogging. But if you were just scrolling through here trying to find your 10, would you, and you were looking for business or blogging related pens, would you click on this to save it? Probably not because words of a butterfly, what the heck is that all about? So I am going to, I've actually got it open over here. So when I clicked on that one, this is what came up. And so learn valuable tips from ladies who have become their own boss and are loving it. So words of a butterfly is actually the name of this person's blog. Okay. So now let's come over here. And I have a pin in here somewhere. I should have opened it up before I want this video that's okay all right I'm further down mm -hmm. I need that jeopardy music okay so here we go so you come across this one must have tools and resources for new bloggers that sounds like a title of a blog post it makes sense I'm looking for business tools blogging tools I would probably click on this to save it and so when the preview comes up this is one of mine by the way so I'm going to show you the difference. I have rich pins enabled for my blog. So this right here, your title of the blog post, if you have rich pins enabled, when you share a link to your pin, so the pins link here, this, oy, what did I do? Um, will show up. It's a preview. It's your title of your blog plus a preview of what your uh, the beginning of the post itself. And so if you see this one over here, that preview is not here. So when she shared this, I'm assuming it's a, a woman, um, what it's going to pull is the name of her blog itself and not the name of the blog post. And so depending on what your content is, you know, you may have, you know, your, your blog's name should reflect what your blog is about. Um, and so, I mean, and this is just me critiquing this, words of a butterfly, I personally would not think that this blog is giving me something about business. The only reason I know is because I saw the graphic, the image, and it talked about being your own boss. 
And so you really want your blog title. Of course, it should be SEO for what the post is about, so it's searchable. Um, but you want that to show up when uh, you share it on Facebook. You know, if you're sharing the blog post on your Facebook page that you have for your blog or if other people are sharing it, you want it to stand out. You want it to jump out. So if somebody's looking for what you just wrote about, they're going to know by seeing the preview, the thumbnail. This is called a thumbnail. They're going to know what that content is. Um, the same here. Uh, you can be a foodie and lose weight. Um, tw two months in Asia for a new you. That sounds like someone who went to Asia and wrote a blog post about it. There's a few other ones in here that I saw that really were not... Um, Projects to try. Here we go. Let's open this one up. That does not sound like a blog post title. If it is, it's probably not a very good one. And actually, this looks like a stolen pin. And we'll talk about stolen pins in another video. So let's go back here. Uh, my affiliate programs. Let's go up here. Uh, 10, hash, 10 Instagram hashtags, do's and don'ts. That sounds like a blog post. Let's open it up. And chances are their rich pins are enabled. Bam. There you go. Um, pin your pins here. So let's open this one. That sounds like the name of a Pinterest board. And that's probably exactly what it is. So this is probably a um, an affiliate link pin for like Shops Out Collective or something. There's another one in here that I came across that was a blog and they did not have them um, enabled. So let's go back. Blogging tips. It's this one here. Again, so this person does not have um, rich pins enabled. So basically what it is pulling is the title of the board that they pulled this from. So whatever board they had it pinned to and they clicked on it and grabbed uh, the URL right here, it's pulling the name of the board itself. And so, you know, I might be inclined to click on that because it does say blogging tips, but it's not... Um, telling me the name. I only know it's about Tailwind Tribes because of the image right here. So again, with rich pins enabled, without. With, without. And it doesn't matter how great your images are and how you know intriguing and um, the words and everything you use on it. When you're sharing your blog post on social media, specifically Facebook, you want to make sure that your blog title and a preview of the post itself is going to be shown in the thumbnail so that when they pull it up, it, it's going to tell them, hey, this is what this post is about. So that's all. I just wanted to kind of point out to you what the difference is and why the importance of having rich pins enabled if you are a blogger so that the content you are sharing is relayed to people who come across your pins, especially in shared threads. So that's all. I hope this was helpful. Leave me some comments below and let me know um, if you have any questions.